Hello everyone, today I am going to explain Gauss-Jordan method. The main aim is to reduce the coefficient matrix A to a diagonal matrix so that we get the required exact solution. Here A11x1 plus A12x2 plus A13x3 is equal to B1. Similarly, the rest of the elements. Now A is to B is A11, A22 and A13. That is the diagonal matrix. Fine. Now rest all should be made 0. Fine. So by this we get x1 from here is equal to b1 double dash divided by a11. x2 from here. Okay. So b2 double dash divided by a22 dash. x3 from here. Okay. So b3 double dash divided by a33 double dash. So here is one question. Solve the system of equation by Gauss-Jordan method. So this is called as matrix A. So I have written the coefficient 2, 5, 7, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 1 and 1. Okay. So only diagonal elements uh, should be there. Rest all should be made 0. Fine. Here you can see this is R3. The elements are smaller than the R1. So what I am going to do is I am going to interchange R1 with R3 because the elements are small. So what I will write here 1, 1, 1, 9 and write R2 same as it is and R1 is shifted to R3. Two, 5, 7 and 52. Now this is your again diagonal elements. Now I want to make these elements as a 0. So I will write here R2 to make this as a 0. So R2 minus 2 into R1 this first row. Then this element will become 0. To make this element as a 0 I will write R3 R3 minus 2 into R1. Fine. So, first element elements will remain same. Second, here this will become 0 because uh, 2 minus 2 will become 0. Now, here 1 minus uh, 2 will become minus 1. Minus 1 minus 2 will become minus 3. And next uh, uh, minus uh, 0 minus 2 nines are 18. Hmm. Now this 2 minus 2 0 5 minus 2 is 3 7 minus 2 will become 5 52 minus 18 is 34. Again I will mark like this. Now these two have become 0. Now you have to make this and other elements as a 0. Now to make this element as a 0, this is R row 1. So I will write here R1 plus R2. Okay. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 uh, minus 3 is minus 2. Uh, 9 minus 18 is minus 9. Okay. Now write this second row elements as it is. Third row, I will make this as a 0. So R3 will become R3 plus 3 times of row 2. So 3 minus 3 will become 0. 5, uh, 3, 3 is a 9. So it is minus 4. 34 um, and uh, this will become minus 20. Fine. Again mark like this. You have to make these two elements as a 0. Before that divide this by 4 R3. For R3 divide by 4 minus 1 upon 4. Write first and second row as it is 1, 
0 minus 2 minus 9 second row as it is 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 18 third row divided by minus 1 upon 4 so 0 0 minus into minus is plus and 4 divided by 4 is 1 uh, 20 divided by 4 is 5 okay now here you have to make these two elements as a 0 so this is row 1 for row 1 r1 plus 2 into r3 will become 0 r2 r2 plus 3 into r3 will become 0 so the final answer will be uh, so this will become 0 and uh, here it will be 1 yeah 5 2s are 10 10 minus uh, 9 is 1 and 0 minus 1 and this will become 0 and minus 3 okay 0 0 1 and 5 you can see there are only diagonal elements rest all are 0 so your x value from here you will get x value so x value will become 1 minus y is equal to minus 3 it means y value has become 3 from here z value will become 5 so this completes your answer Now in the second question, 2x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 1, 4x1 plus 4x2 plus 7x3 is equal to 1, 2x1 plus 5x2 plus 9x3 is equal to 3. So I have written in the matrix form. As you know that this is the diagonal elements, rest all elements, you have to make it 0. So keep the row 1, uh, row 2 as it is. Okay, uh, here row 1 as it is, row 2 make this element as a 0. So, R2 minus 2 into R1. So, 2 2s are 4. So, 4 minus 4 is 0 here. Fine. Now, next, you have to make this element as a 0. That is row 3. So, row 3 uh, minus row 1. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. Fine. Similarly, for the entire row. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. 7 minus uh, 3 2s are 6 is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Here also 5 minus 1 is 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. Fine. Now I have to make these two elements as a 0. So what I am going to do is R1 tends to 2 times of R1 minus R2. 2 minus 2 will become 0 here next uh, and 2 into 2 is 4 in the first and 3 2s are 6 6 minus 1 is 5 2 into 1 minus into minus is plus so it is 3 row 2 keep as it is now row 3 is row 3 min r3 minus 2 into r2 so 4 minus 2 2s are 4 will become 0 here. 6 minus 2 will become 4. 2 minus into minus is plus and uh, 2 plus 2 is 4 here. Now again, this is your diagonal element. In the last row, here there is a 4. So I'll divide it by 1 by 4 to the row 3. So here you'll get 0, 0, 1, 1 rest all the elements should be kept same now again you have to make these two elements as a zero this is the first row so r1 tends to r1 minus 5 times of r3 will become zero here okay here r2 minus r3 1 minus 1 is zero here okay so you are left with only diagonal elements rest all elements are zero as i have told you x1 is equal to minus 2 divided by 4 will become minus 1 by 2 
now y minus 2 divided by 2 here so the answer is minus 1 and z is equal to 1 so this is your final answer i hope you understood very well thank you for watching